For most of us, reality never exceeds our dreams, but there are a lucky few whose reality exceeds any dream they might ever have had. Bianca became one of those privileged rarities when Ferdy slipped a ring on her finger and turned her into more, much more, than the reigning queen of Mexican society. For the first time in years, she no longer suffered from the ennui her perfectly planned and predictable life had induced in her. She now had to fit herself in with the plans of a husband to whom a typical day was an alien concept. Indeed, the only predictable aspects in Ferdy's way of life were the constant mobility, the complete unpredictability, and the infinite luxury with which they went from one place to another. But what a way of life it was. The following Easter was spent in the Caribbean, cruising on Marjorie Merriweather Post's ocean-going yacht, the Sea Cloud. The largest sailing ship ever built, it was chartered by Ferdy to celebrate, as he put it, a quintet of happy events. Julio had made the Dean's List at Harvard University, where he was studying business administration. Pedro was accepted by Columbia University, where he would study history. Antonia had started at her English school, St. Mary Abbott's, and Manolito was turning three, while Ferdy and Bianca were marking the first six months of marriage.